Next kind of method for preparing amine can be a simple substitution. If we have an alkyl halide, halide can be chloride, bromide, iodide, they are good leaving groups. And if we, if we, if we add into the system ammonia, then this ammonia is going to attack the R group. It's going to put its electron into the antibonding of this R. From the front, this X is going to come out. So nitrogen is going to form a bond. Nitrogen will gain a plus charge and then it will remove one of the hydrogen H plus to get rid of its plus charge. So one nitro, one hydrogen ha will be reduced from nitrogen and, and I have just shown NH2. Fine. So this chlorine is going to come out as Cl minus. So we get a one degree amine. But the problem with this one degree amine is this amine also has nitrogen, which also has lone pair. So that lone pair is also capable for reaction. So if there are more unreacted alkyl halides left out, so this nitrogen, this amine that has formed, that can also go for SN2 substitution as ammonia went for SN2 substitution. So when that happens, then we get a two degree amine. And this two degree amine also has a nitrogen. So there could be a further reaction happening. If ammonia is not there in the system or this two degree amines and these one degree amines will compete with ammonia for SN2 substitution. So this two degree amine also has a chance of further going into the for reaction. And this can also attack this R to turn into a three degree amine. And this three degree amine again has a nitrogen which again has a lone pair so reaction may not stop at this stage. This three degree amine may also go for reaction. So this will again come and attack this R and now we will have a quaternary ammonium salt. Because this time when nitrogen gains a plus charge, it doesn't have a mechanism to get rid of that plus charge. For the first time when the nitrogen got plus charge, it removed one hydrogen. Again when it got plus charge, it removed one hydrogen. The third time it got a plus charge, it removed this hydrogen. But this time it did not have a mechanism of removing the hydrogen and getting rid of its plus charge. The plus charge will stay on nitrogen and, will, and this X, whatever X we have taken, that will come to form a salt. So finally, if we have excess of Rx, then whole of 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree will come finally to this quaternium ammonium salt. So this is the problem and there will be various mixtures. Few percentage will be 1 degree, few percentage 2 degree, 3 degree, few percentage will exist as quaternary ammonium salt. So that's the problem with this kind of reaction. So if I want one degree as the pure product, I may not get one degree as the pure product through this simple substitution. So I have to find some other mechanism, other reaction, other technology to get one degree. But, uh, but if we take ammonia in excess, then that will ensure that ammonia is the one that is going for reaction, not these two degree, three degree amines or one degree amines. So if we take huge excess of ammonia, then that will ensure high percentage of one degree amine. That's one thing we can do to increase the percentage of one degree amine. Okay. One more thing in this, if we have, now this, this is a substitution reaction, of course, and this is a backside attack. Now this, when we studied SN2 reaction, we discussed this, that this backside attack is not possible when the antibonding is hindered or to say that the carbon is three degree. If we have this kind of alkyl halide, a three degree alkyl halide and you're adding ammonia to this, then this ammonia is not capable of entering into this hindered area and put its electron into the antibonding. So the SN2 will not operate in this. There cannot be any substitution because it's a three degree carbon. So in this case, we know that what happens Elimination happens instead of substitution. So this nitrogen is going to abstract one hydrogen from this carbon. This hydrogen is going to gain a negative charge and this negative charge can be transferred into the antibonding to remove this halogen. So what will happen is 
this halogen will go away and a double bond will be formed with one of the carbon so and this obstructing a hydrogen will come out as ammonium ion and this halogen will come out so we'll have a alkene instead of a amine so if you have a three degree alkyl halide so this we know fine and uh, this kind of substitution also can occur in a aromatic ring in a special case when you have strong electron withdrawing group at ortho and para position suppose we have a uh, 2,4 dinitro chlorobenzene so in this case we have studied earlier in the chapter of hydrocarbon when we studied aromatic rings now this nitro groups are a strong electron withdrawing groups they withdraw electron and they will develop a plus charge polarity on this carbon just for a quick reminder how this happens let's draw a resonating structure corresponding to one nitro group now let's see what happens This oxygen is del negative. If you start to shift this pi bond on oxygen, this carbon will start to develop a plus charge. So the adjacent atom must develop a minus charge. Right? So this bond will be shifted on to this carbon. Sorry. This bond will be shifted to this carbon. Because this oxygen is gaining a negative charge, this nitrogen will be gaining a positive charge. So atom adjacent to nitrogen must gain a negative charge so that C minus and N plus will form a bond. So what happens is this carbon develops a positive charge. This is what is going to happen. The rest of the two pi bond will remain as it is. So this carbon is gaining a plus charge as you can see. So this carbon is getting a plus charge so ammonia or ammonia derivative or amine for that matter can come and attack this carbon if you have strong electron withdrawing group from ortho and para position i drew a resonating structure from ortho the same will occur from para if you're operating it from para this carbon will gain a plus charge and after resonance alternate carbon that is this carbon will gain a plus charge so both groups are electron withdrawing and the effect will come down to this carbon from both the groups this is what we have seen before so if you have strong electron withdrawing groups at ortho and para position then a nucleophile come can come and attack this carbon so let's see how the reaction happen suppose i'm, I'm having a methylamine so this methylamine can come and attack this carbon so when it attacks a carbon then this carbon have to break a bond because it's it's gaining electron it is in process of formation of a new bond it has to break one previous bond so this bond pi bond will break and will go to this carbon so you have this kind of intermediate Fine. There will be a plus charge developed on nitrogen and that will be dispensed if H plus goes away. So one hydrogen from nitrogen will be reduced as I have shown here. Now the aromaticity has been broken. You understand what happens when aromaticity is broken. When aromaticity is broken, aromaticity has to be regenerated after the reaction. If reactant is aromatic, product necessarily has to be aromatic. We had this discussion many times before. So now how to generate aromaticity? There's a negative charge on this carbon. Somehow you generate a positive charge on this carbon. Then aromaticity will be regenerated because a pi one will be formed at this position. Fine. Now how a plus charge will be generated on this carbon? If a group leaves by taking away the electrons, now either this group or this group leaves, a better leaving group is this chlorine. So if this chlorine leaves, taking away the electrons, then this carbon will generate a plus charge. And this plus and this minus will form a bond and aromaticity will be regenerated.
so uh, we can get a aromatic amine like this fine fine so this kind of substitution that we were talking about can occur with rcl alkyl halide in case of open chain and this substitution can also occur in an aromatic ring if we have a strong electron withdrawing groups that ortho and para position only then otherwise attack at this position will not be possible because of the high electron density in the ring these nitro groups have reduced the electronic density and plus generated electron deficiency at this carbon if there's an electron deficiency only then the attack can take place if you have a simple chlorobenzene then that carbon do not have any deficiency this carbon do not have electron deficiency so there cannot be any attack so substitution cannot take place only in case of chlorobenzene if you have electron withdrawing group at ortho and para position only then this kind of substitution is possible